Hi, this is Abigail Krieger, a Senior Technical Advisor for IHS Petra and Kingdom, bringing you another Petra Did You Know? A series where we are bringing you functionality and workflows from Petra you may not have been aware of. How many of you would eat one of these bananas? I know I wouldn't. How about one of these? Yeah, those sure look good. Over time, your data or your run lists become outdated or obsolete, kind of like these bananas. Over time, they start to deteriorate. So it's important that we keep our lists current and up to date. In today's video, we're going to discuss how using Petra's dynamic well lists is going to help you keep your data current or fresh like these bananas. So let's take a look. From Petra's main module, you'll want to select the icon button, select wells by data criteria, or by going to the wells menu dropdown, select wells by data criteria. And in this window, you can see that in version 2019, it has changed a little bit. We now have the ability to search for an attribute using this search box instead of having to open up every individual item at a time. So in this example, we're going to look for core data. And what that'll do is pull up any data types or attributes that have anything to do with cores. Now, if I simply double click on any chord intervals, it's going to tell me it found 193 of those wells. I'm going to say yes. So now that I have created my query or the wells that I want to use for this query, we can save our dynamic well list now. So in the icon buttons on the right hand side, all the way at the bottom, we have this save function. Now, if we hit the down arrow, we have our traditional WSN list and UWI lists. You can still save those, but now we have a new one called as a dynamic well list. So now it's going to ask me to save that list and give it a name. So we're going to call this area of interest core. And we'll simply select save. So now that we've saved that list, we can come to the tab on the far right hand side set that says dynamic well lists. And now you can see we have a new well list here called AOI underscore core and there's 193 wells and it's currently static. Now the nice thing with this window is we can simply put a checkbox in front of that list and it's going to list all of the wells that fall within that query. The other thing to do is hitting this wheel button, which is the settings for this particular list, we can select the trigger we want to use to make this dynamic. So if we want to select direct connect well import, direct connect production import, or generic ASCII import, that will trigger Petra to update this well list whenever one of these imports happen. So if I go ahead and click save now, you can see under the type, it has switched to dynamic. So this list is now dynamic. Upon any of those imports, this list will update. Another thing to point out in this window is search for list name. So for example, if you had a whole list of different dynamic well lists, you can come in here with the string and start typing and search for that particular list. That will just help with organization down the road. So now that we have our dynamic list set, let's go ahead and do a data import. We are going to update our data using the ASCII importer. And we'll just select a spreadsheet of core data for certain wells. Under your data format tab, make sure your layout is correct with all the data items that you need to complete the import. We'll simply say OK and import that data. It read 15 well records and updated 15 wells, so we'll go ahead and say OK on this and minimize our lists. And now we can come into our dynamic well list section and go to our dynamic well list tab and you can see my dynamic AOI core list has updated with 208 new wells. So without having to do any sort of manual updating, it kept that list current based on the import that I just created. And this is how you're going to keep your well list current in Petra. Thank you for watching this episode of Petra Did You Know?